This is the new iPad Pro M4 and this is the new iPad Air M2 and today I'm going to be testing their gaming capabilities alongside with how well can their batteries handle intensive gaming. The battery right now is at 54% and we're starting at exactly midnight. And of course I'll be starting with Call of Duty. It recognized that I'm using a controller. What I love about the iPad Pro that it has four speakers, two on each side. It has such a good experience. You have the full screen for yourself. I mean this is not the most graphically demanding game on the iPad. We will be testing that just in a sec. With the surround sound, you can really know where the people are coming from. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to Genshin Impact. The iPad is barely heated up. They're pretty much 120. Oh my God, this looks amazing. If you forget which key is which, they give you some hints over here. Plus, now you have way more room to see on the screen. They push them on the side, unlike Call of Duty where they keep the keys on the screen. In one battle, the iPad is definitely cooking right now. The heat is coming from the middle, which I think where the chip is. Man, this is so far has been the smoothest Genshin Impact experience ever i mean look at it 120 frames per second no hiccups okay let's test it with other fights Disappear. not bad also one of the things that i really love is ps remote play and of course to be able to connect your non-ps controller you need to turn it off connect to your game and then turn it back on here we go of course, you can play all your PS games just like you would on your PS. Now, one of the games that I really love playing on the iPad with a controller is Asphalt 9. I don't do left and right with this. I do left and right with the controller itself. This is amazing. So after almost 45 minutes, 32% of battery. Most of it was Genshin Impact. This is the best Genshin Impact experience I've ever had on any device. The quality, the smoothness, playing with a controller, the sound experience on all of these four speakers is something else. Now let's move to the iPad Air. This is not the right keyboard for it. This is the keyboard for the iPad Pro, but I'm only using it as a stand. Now, if you're someone who's used to 120 Hertz, the 60 Hertz will hurt <laughs> not 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 to that extent but i mean you can see the difference now we'll be testing the same stuff with the ipad air let's connect the controller and of course we're gonna start with call of duty one of the things that i hate about the ipad air that it only has two speakers on the side although it has two grills of speakers on each side but only the bottom ones work so we have two speakers actually and being at the bottom while playing like this you're gonna close up on the speakers i mean yes you can rotate the iPad like this, but come on, why did they put the speakers at the bottom and not at the top? Alrighty, let's get started. That's how it's done. Now let's go to Genshin Impact. Much different experience on the iPad Air than the iPad Pro. The iPad doesn't have 120 frames per second. Let's put it to 60. Oh, now it's much smoother. It's weird that they have a 120 option in the first place. Still, the iPad is cool. So I've been running around the map for a while now. This is the coolest device I've ever tested with Genshin Impact. I mean, it's barely hot. I've had some fights, but I'm really surprised. The game is playing smoothly. iPad is like warm, but barely. I'm really surprised. Did I not clock it all the way up? I mean, we don't have 120 frames per second. Let's try clock it all the way up. iPad is not like hot at all, which is very interesting. Let me check on the battery real quick. It's 29% and it's 145. 50 minutes of gaming, mostly Genshin Impact. Very interesting. I mean, at this point with the M4 and the M2 chip, I'm really not worried about the performance. We're really getting top-notch experience. This is 55 minutes of playing on the iPad Air and now it's at 26%. You get the point. Both iPads performed really well and the iPad Air performed amazingly in terms of heat with Genshin Impact. But with the iPad Pro, I had the best experience with Genshin Impact ever on any device. So smooth. So 
so beautiful, but it did cook up like any other Apple device. But the air really surprised me with that. And that's been it for today's episode. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, give it a sub. Thank you for watching. See you.